Yeah. Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm a student nurse and I will be administering medication through um, mini bag today. I'm just going to do my hand hygiene. I'm going to go over the MAR. So, patient is Errol Ely. Um, MRN number is 0991751. Date of birth is June 10, 1992. He is allergic to morphine and he is diagnosed with pneumonia. So, we will be giving him an antibiotic called penicillin G sodium. I have checked the MAR earlier with the physician's order and everything is good and transcribable. So I already got my medication from the Pixis machine and um, it's not expiring, the integrity is good. I've already gotten um, the normal saline which I will be using to reconstitute and expiration date is good, not expired, the integrity is good as well. So now I'll do my first check. So patient is Errol Ely. Um, Right drug is penicillin G sodium, penicillin C drip sodium. Um, right dose is 3 million units, and there's 5 million units in here, so it'll be enough. It'll be given through IV uh, through my bag. And um, time and frequency is every 4 hours, and we'll be given now. So now we'll check the monograph. So penicillin G sodium, classification is an antibiotic. It, will be give, it can be given by sooners. Usual dose is 2 to 4 million units. I leave every four to six hours, which is based on the order, it is good. Maximum single dose is five million units, so it is under that. Maximum daily dose is 30 million units. Um, to reconstitute, since I have a five million unit file, I will be reconstituting it with 3.1 ml of normal saline. To get, uh, to get a total volume of 5 ml with a final concentration of 1 million units per ml. Um, I, for compatibility, I've checked the primary that is running in the patient's room and it is compatible with the medication and the reconstitution solution that I will be using. Um, potential hazards that I will be looking out for are a rash, electrolyte, electrolyte imbalance, anaphylaxis, um, seizures, and any signs of coma. So now I'll do my hand hygiene and I will continue on to reconstitute the medication. So, using alcohol swabs, I will be swabbing the top, the top of the vials for 30 seconds and let drop for 15. So, for the purpose of the video, 30 seconds is done. I will let that dry for 15. Um, do the same thing with the other vial. Swab for 30 seconds and let dry for 15. So based on the monograph, I have to um, inject 3.1 ml of normal saline into the medication to reconstitute. So maintaining sterility. I will draw up the correct amount of air, which is 3.1. Inject the air into the vial and um, draw up the correct amount of um, volume. Get rid of any bubbles to ensure that I have the correct volume. So I have 3.1 ml here, and I've already swapped this file earlier, so and I haven't touched it, so I will um, inject the, the sterile water, the normal saline into the vial. Get rid of any air to relieve pressure. Scoop method. Now, I'm going to 
So now I'm going to gently roll up the medication to, to mix it and check for sedimentation and it is good. And based on my calculations earlier, I would need to draw up 3 ml of the reconstituted medication. And I will, before I do that, I will re-swab just in case I touch the vial. 30 seconds and let dry for 15. So I will draw up 3 ml of air. So 3 ml. And I can go ahead and inject the air into the vial and draw up the correct amount of medication. method. So I have three mLs right here. So now I'm going to do my second check. So patient is Aryl Ely. Right drug is penicillin G sodium. Penicillin G sodium. Right dose is three million units. Um, this is five hundred five million units. And uh, based on my calculation, I needed three mLs. So I have three mLs in here. Uh, it will be given through IV, via mini bag, and time frequency is every four hours and will be given now. So, um, I chose a 50 ml normal saline bag. It is compatible with the primary, so I can use this and expiration is good and integrity, integrity of the bag is good. I chose 50 ml because the patient doesn't need any extra um, med, uh, extra fluids and I will be giving it, um, administering it in 30 seconds, 30, 30 minutes, I mean, <laughs> 30 minutes because I want to give time for myself just in case the patient does have any adverse effects. I want to be able to have time to correct it. So now I'm just going to swap the port for 30 seconds and let dry for 15. If I touched it, I would have to start over and um, get a new mini bag. I will now inject the medication into the bag. Scoop method. This would go in the sharps. And I will gently mix this to ensure that it is this first ball. And I have my label here, which has the patient's name. The drug name is, drug name is pen, penicillin G sodium. Dose is 3 million units. Volume is 3 ml. Plus the dilute fluid, which is 50 ml of saline. Um, concentration per ml with the mini bag is 56,604 units per ml. Um, rate is 106 ml per hour based on my calculations. Um, it has a date and time, signature, and designation. I will attach this into an area where it will not be covering any important information. So now I am ready to go to the patient's bedside. So I have my mini bag, my tape for um, for the tubing, my tubing, alcohol swabs, and my mark. So I'm walking to the patient's room. I'm gonna do my hand hygiene do my safety check, make sure the patient is not in any distress and nothing is in the way or any patient's harm. So, hi, my name is Catherine. I'm going to be today. I'm just going to be administering my, the medication. I'm just going to need to check your armband. So, my patient is Errol Ely. Errol Ely, MRN is 0991751. Um, can you tell me your name, please? And your birthday? Do you know if any allergies might have? Or be stop. So, now I will do my third check. Right, okay, where's our little cat? So, right, patient is Errol Ely. Errol Ely. Right, drug is penicillin G sodium. Right, dose is 3 million units. 3 million units. It is. The volume that I, I put into the bag is 3 mLs of the medication plus the 50 mL uh, mini bag. Um, 
it will be given through IV via mini bag. Mini bag. Um, time of pregnancy is every four hours and will be given now. So now I will check the patient's IV site. There's no redness, it's fine. Is there any pain here? No? And the IV site is pain, so I can go ahead and give medication. I will check the primary. If it's compatible with my medication and the, the mini bag, um, everything is good. It's normal. And two beans are good. So now I'm doing patient education. So, hi, um, we're just going to be giving you a drug called penicillin G sodium. It is an antibiotic. So, we will, it should treat your diagnosis of pneumonia and some side effects that we will um, look out for a rash or any signs of anaphylaxis shock. I will give you the call ball right here, just in case. And at this time, the patient has the right to refuse any testing, so we can go ahead. So I will lower the, the primary bag right now. And I will hand hygiene, please. I'll get my tubing, make sure the the this is closed and maintaining sterility I will attach uh, the tubing to the mini bag. I'm just gonna hang this up here. And I will um, I will be using the port for the machine, the pump, because it will be regulated um, with the primary. We're gonna, so I'm going to swap it for 30 seconds and let it drop down. And then we and maintaining sterility, I'm going to attach the tubing. Okay, so now we're going to move to the pump. It's nice that a student nurse can give it. So I'm going to go to the I will attach the tape, which has the date and time that um, it was hung up, and also my initials. And now I will back time. Until it is half full. It's good. I will put in the volume. The volume which is uh, the rate is 106 ml based on my calculation, and volume is volume is 53. Confirm secondary, and I'm gonna press start. Make sure everything is open. I'm gonna draw more open. And Watch for three drops. Okay, and now I will um, stay with the patient for five minutes because it is the first time that he is getting this medication, so I'll see you to um, look for any adverse effects. I'll give him the call ball just in case he does experience anything while I'm not here. And we'll be back for when the medication is done to ensure that the primary is done, is um, flowing again. And, um, I'll ensure the patient that I will be back later to monitor him. I will do my general exam to check it out. And I'll go back and document time and my initial.